Hello everyone, welcome back to No Man's Sky Synthesis. We're playing Beyond Survival. Today you see down there in the lower right corner, Apollo's contact will help expand your base. So that's what we're starting today. We're gonna start with calling in the fleet. We're already in the system. Let's see if we did any better with a trade uh, mission with uh, bumped up industrial numbers. Expecting mostly money, uh, but there's some superconductors, that's helpful. Ooh, iridescite and superconductors. That's a winner, and 10 magna gold. I'm actually kind of surprised that there's uh, room in the cargo for all of this. Boy, that's a lot of magnetized ferrite. <laughs> All right, very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, let's grab the iridescite. The stuff for making stasis devices. And I think we're good. We've got 1,400 tons of fuel. We still have mineral compressors and a couple of mind control devices, a couple. We have 12. <laughs> All right. So send those guys off. Sack Venom. The most useless thing in the game, I think. Look at that. Three million units we made. Let's see here. Nine hours on industrial. Wow. Just not getting the industrial missions that we need. I'm not quite sure how to make that come up. It may be just the luck of the draw, or it may be the ships. Uh, let's see, that's 53.84. And let's get this guy out there. Try to get some of those negatives off. What's the other one? A combat ship. We don't even really need to add this, but I'm going to. Uh, just to make sure that I'm at five stars. I'm gonna shorten the mission. And let's bring up, yeah, let's bring up uh, trade. So we've got combat and trade over 50 and 107, we're, we're only using 300 tons of fuel. So let's grab a trade mission as well. And send those guys out. And now we're looking for our highest trade ships, regardless of what they are. Looks like those two. There we go, we're over 100. And let's throw in a mineral compressor there. Helped a little bit. It got us over 50. 550 tons, there we go. We're still trying to uh, do everything at the same time. We gotta keep improving the fleet. And uh, we gotta keep cooking. Keep making stasis devices. I have several on me. Boy, that's taking a long time. It's almost done. Go ahead and put the butter in. Churning butter here. I got uh, 148. Um, hello. I couldn't see the engage thing there. I got 148 cream last night. Almost done with this. There we go. Put that away. Need to make a little bit more flour. All right, let's go meet Apollo's agent. We're gonna leave the freighter here. Moving your freighter while you're refining things um, is inherently dangerous <laughs> to the refining process. We're gonna leave it right where it is. Righty, there's a nice hauler coming in. Look at that, we almost hit him. 
We got our signal right there. It's a nice color of a space station. I like that color yellow. <laughs> The yellow on the ships is not a very pleasing color, but this bright color that you get on space stations I like a lot. He's up there. Alrighty. There he is. Hi. Life form, you arrived later than anticipated. Well, <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Data has been obtained, exchanged, utilized, and new tools await you as instructed. Corvax has plans to update both base and exosuit. Where's your base sighted? What sort of hazard protection meets your needs? Well, we don't need hazard protection, but we'll go for heat. Wisdom Traveler Entity, from your expanded base, you will be able to explore freely and return from any station. May the light of the Atlas watch over you. There's a thermal protection module. Ooh, 15 salvage data. I've forgotten about that. Return to your base. Use the space station teleporter to travel instantly. Well, we have to use the teleporter anyway because I don't want to... I don't want to do anything to disturb this bit of space. I don't want to lose all my butter. <laughs> Alrighty. Mambian and I've built a special room on the base just for expanding the base. changed some of my graphics settings and uh, restarted the game, but the sound isn't uh, working too well right now. There we go. Ocean beaches. Let's see here. We got a little difficulty here. <laughs> Our daily supply of pure ferrite. <laughs> it's right in the doorway. Here's our big room. Access the mission log and make sure it's on expanding the base. Build a construction terminal. The only problem is lighting. It's very hard to light this space. There it is. And it's not going to snap because we're not in a room. So that means we can put it closer to the wall, which works great for me. All right. Press P to review mission objectives. Hire a base overseer. All right, hire staff from space stations. Let's see if our space station has the staff we need. <laughs> Says all space stations do. <laughs> <laughs> Every station and base has the green symbol on it. <laughs> I'm hopeful. Pretty sure he's going to be in the bar. Yep. That's where I'm, I'm being led to the bar. I don't think anyone has to pull my arm to get me there, though. <laughs> I hope he has a good name. Sumatu. I think I can say Sumatu, Sumatu. Is it really you? Forgive me, I've been searching for such a long time. I'm contracted to aid you in this and every cycle. Don't worry, everything was paid for a long time ago. It's all quite above board. <laughs> As a stranger sm speaks, a smell assaults me, a pheromone infesting my brain giving me memories of places I never visited, of actions I never took. <laughs> of myself in a mirror, aged and alone, of this get cradling their fallen brethren, 
of a bargain made many years from now. A contract signed across the cosmos. The vision ends and the overseer remains. The overseer promises to expand my base, allowing me to recruit other workers. They require a construction terminal to get started. There's something compelling about this Gek. They shall feel at home in my home. I will be at my station before you know it. See you soon, friend. <laughs> Here we go. After I changed my graphics the first time that I went on board my freighter, um, I went upstairs and there was no, there was no bridge. <laughs> so I lowered them too much, so I raised them back up a little bit. <laughs> back to the base. So you might see a little bit of uh, slow rendering. Um, trying to work out exactly where everything needs to be set. And it's not very easy to do when you barely understand the settings. <laughs> there we go. Unfortunately, the flashlight doesn't stay on uh, when you're inside of a building. But you can turn it back on. Here, let's blind him. <laughs> You have so much to learn, so much to see, and this place will be our home amidst the infinite. Take this glass and let starlight flood into our jolly home. Thanks for the glass. Been making it, you might have noticed. <laughs> Everything pours through glass in the end, but there's time enough for that. There are other things that we have to do. If you prepare chromatic metal, I will use it to calibrate a science terminal suitable for a Corvax entity. The Corvax have suffered terribly at the hands of my people. Be kind to them, I beg of you. Yeah, okay, whatever. The Overseer asks me to gather chromatic metal in preparation for the recruitment of a Corvax scientist. Work Gek Sumetu has already, uh, is already making themselves useful. A science terminal, a new Corvax guest, and all for just a handful of chromatic metal. We'll just wait for that to catch up. And uh, I think I have them in my suit right there. Got seven stasis devices done. I meant to put that all on the ship, but I forgot to. <laughs> Are you ready to talk to me? <laughs> Our relationship is not yet clear, but it's obvious from the urgency in the Gex voice that they are uncomfortable with my inaction. I sense they have grand plans for me. It's only natural, I suppose. They must sit, he sit here alone, bound by some unknown pact while I have the freedom of the stars. The overseer is anxious for me to continue with the mission. It wasn't quite ready for me. So we'll just wait a second longer. There we go. There you are again, traveler. I'm sure you have the required materials this time. The overseer speaks strangely, implying that we have performed this encounter before. I have no memory of such meetings. <clears throat> I ask who paid them for this service and they are per that they are performing for me. They laugh and claim that my child did many years from now. <laughs> I do not know what they are talking about. The overseer asks me for the chromatic metal. There you go, buddy. Perfect, friend. I knew you would succeed. Just what I need to finish the science terminal plans. And there they are. And... There we go. We have littered the universe in our greed, Traveler. This planet is no exception, but there's much that can be done with litter. Make your way to an abandoned structure and harvest the data from their terminals. I shall use it to fashion us plans for a storage container. Work Gek Sumetu is reflective for a Gek. They almost seem to regret the greed that characterizes their people. 
They wish to make something new from the remains of the old. Is this just greed in disguise or something else? Whatever their motive, the overseer claims I will find data for a storage container blueprint in a nearby structure. <clears throat> you won't regret it, friend. I've marked you a site that seems to be ripe for exploitation. Build a science terminal. Oops. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> There we go. All right. Recruits outside of local area. So we need to go to expanding the base. And that will give us the site of an abandoned building. Let's see. Oh, I have a ship today. Oh, hello, Sentinel. Interesting. Thanks for visiting. <laughs> See, I'm taking it kind of slow and easy because uh, everything seems to be just a little bit more jumpy than I would like it to be. to initiate landing. Let's try it over here. There we go. <laughs> we already have all of this stuff. So it's uh it's kind of just going through the motions really. And uh that's okay because we are going to get one very very useful thing out of this and that's the uh, microprocessors there we go I need that nav data still late at night. I thought I'd try to get this done and with some, you know, time on my hands instead of rushing through it in the morning. Right. <laughs> Gonna have to work on that a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Rendering is a little bit rough. <laughs> May too. I'm back. You're back. <laughs> I'm so glad, friend. I will extract the storage blueprint as soon as I have the data. It's good to see that Gek is so invested in the success of our home. They're clearly happy to see me, energized for the task at hand. Here's your blueprint as promised, a trivial task. Their code was just sitting there to be manipulated. And of course, we already have all of that. Now then, do you think, friend, that we should put the science terminal to use? Fill our home with the clicks and lights of the Corvax? It would be so lovely. The overseer feels the base would benefit from a Corvax scientist. They would like to see good use made of the blueprint they work so hard on. There we go. I'm so glad we had this chat. <laughs> yeah. Now we're going to go in and change the scientific research.
He's in another system in space. Not in Kugana, that's not right. Um, there he is. Fenjush. <laughs> nice big system out there. Oh dear. <laughs> We got news today that uh, patch 2.24 has gone to experimental, and in that patch, as I believed would happen, our freighters have gained uh, more slots. So we will have the ability to have all of the upgrades uh, and the hyperdrive. I don't have nearly enough uh, salvage friggin' modules, so I'll have to be doing some uh, battles here pretty soon. In that patch, they've also fixed the uh, the stats for ships. There he is. This is just waiting on the patch to get uh, made sure that uh, everything's working properly. It has to be certified for uh, PS4 and Xbox, and then it will be released to public. E31. Looks like it might be yellow. Yep, it's yellow. Righty. Since we're uh, so advanced, rather than skipping the armor like I always do, uh, I'll go ahead and fight his battle for him. So we'll do all of expanding the base. Uh, yeah, he's, on, he's usually on the deck, the scientist. And there he is. The Corvax and a Gek. <laughs> Unknown life form, I pass by test. And who? I am free to explore, free to pursue my passion for structural analysis. Do you have a base, a science terminal? Think of all that might be done. The Corvax is happy, overjoyed to see me. They seem to have just completed some rite of passage for their species, necessitating them to go out into the universe and pursue their interests. The scientist offers to join my base if I provide them with a science terminal. Who? Think not of payment. Scanning you while you sleep will be reward enough, creepy. But okay, I don't sleep much. <laughs> this is a new system, so I'm gonna check the mission board here. Uh, I don't wanna do those anymore. <laughs> the photo missions just pile up and I never get them done. <laughs> And without stopping right in the middle and doing all of this, uh, none of the rest of those missions are good for right now. And back to Mabian and Mabian. I don't know how to pronounce that one. <laughs> Mabianam. <laughs> It's 
a long one. There we go. I could have walked faster than that. Looks like the sun is up finally. We'll see if we get any sunlight in here. There he is. Well, I gotta change the log because I took on missions. Here we go. Hello. A fine base traveler. Yeah, you bet it is. It took a lot of work. <laughs> As of course befits your honorable status. Old Corvax shall be so happy here. The Corvax is brimming with enthusiasm. Neither their shell nor their walls of my base uh, seem able to contain them. Honor to witness the monolith of the traveler. Honor, but please, Corvax, contribute. Take these blueprints, lubricant, and acid. Liquids close to the Corvax hearts. Now, mind you, we could have done this first and not had to do uh, manufacturing facilities to get these, um, but they only go so far. And when you're trying to make money quickly, uh, waiting to get to this point in the mission uh, can seem like it drags out a bit. Here we go, Mordite and Fungal Mold. All of that stuff is in, uh, in storage. Traveler, harvest marrow bulb and Corvax will do more. We'll create plans for microprocessors and advanced refiners. Corvax will also clean windows while you're gone. That's quite a task, Corvax. We have a lot of windows. <laughs> the Corvax is desperate to please, showering me with praise and offers of assistance. They tell me travelers are to be honored, raised above all others. What have I done to earn such esteem? The scientist requires marrow bulb and cobalt, materials found underground. They will be able to use this substance to craft blueprints for microprocessors and advanced refiners. Joy, our home will be light and our windows will be clean. <laughs> now the question is, do I have enough marrow bulb? I don't have much. Uh, I'm not even really sure I have it in here. Remember where I put it. Nope, well, we gotta go to the freighter. <clears throat> oh, it's so nice here. So lovely. I don't know of any caves around here. I know the place has caves, I just don't know exactly where they are. Well, I suppose we could go look. Gotta get quite above the water, though. The only other option is to fly back to the freighter and hope that I still have enough left. I was using it to cook. I haven't even really explored this island yet. Is that possibly caves over there? see my jetpack is well fixed. <laughs> well, that's not a cave either. No. There, what about that? Cave, but is there marrow bulb? There's a little bit. Let's see here behind me a little bit. I only ever use marrow bulb right at the beginning of the game when I need sodium. Here we see some more. Looks like my log changed. enough. Yeah. That's good. Oh, that's only a 
empty. <laughs> Where's the base? There it is. <laughs> Lost on my own planet. Wow, what a view. I've never been up here before. That's awesome. Picture time. <laughs> <laughs> I love that color red. Much of the workshop here uh, has, and it's got blue floors, as you can see. I think I'll do these parts in red as well. And then it goes up here. Isn't that awesome looking? That blue with white trim. I don't know what I'm going to put up here yet. I thought about feeding the animals up here to get honey. So I think I might put those, uh, those farming machines up here. Alrighty. Hey. <laughs> I have prepared your blueprints, but please hurry. Something has happened. The Corvax seems changed from the happy soul they were on my departure. They are fighting their worry, trying to stay focused on their promise to me. There's your marrow bulb. The Corvax leans forward, anxious for the rest of the materials. There's your cobalt. Corvax has completed the plans, but Traveler, they have, my people have abandoned me. As of 104.32 seconds ago, I lost the hearing, the sight of the Corvax convergence. Ooh. <laughs> it reminds me of data on Star Trek. <laughs> 104.32 seconds ago. <laughs> Here's a large refiner and the blueprint for microprocessors. Here we go. I seek immediate reconnection. Go to this transmission tower. Enter my soul. Discover what is wrong. Help Corvax with solitude, please. Analysis, uh, analyst entity Pockhot. <laughs> it's the first time I saw his name. Pockhot <laughs> is deeply upset, claiming that they have been disconnected from the Corvax hive mind. The scientist asks me to take their personality core to a transmission tower for analysis. There he is, his core is gone. <laughs> this animation is from Beyond, just started at Beyond. They used to just keep moving around and acting normal before that. <laughs> He's just going to stand there. <laughs> All right, now, if we want to make a uh, microprocessor, we just need to make a carbon nanotube and uh, add that to uh, chromatic metal. And voila, we now can make car uh, microprocessors so we don't have to stop and worry about whether or not we've got them anymore. That is over there. 26 minutes. I think we'll fly. Ships still won't land on my landing pads. Uh, they were at first, and then there was a patch, and they stopped landing. And I think the patch was uh, not a patch, but the update synthesis. I think that's when they stopped. Nice chance to fly over this beautiful planet. And those diamonds over there are all bases and uh, uh, com balls uh, over by the um, portal. And uh, it's pretty awesome. It's awesome to see people come in here and enjoying this beautiful planet with me. Oh, recalcitrant. It wasn't that hard of a task. You could have done it. <laughs> Everything's kind of sunk underground. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to turn back, turn that back up. 
that rendering is not good. Oh, there's a giant uh, bouncy over there. I just saw his head. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Goofy thing. <laughs> I prepare to insert the uh, Corvax intelligence core into the transmission tower. The judgment of the convergence awaits. Error. Diagnostic Corvax science unit corrupted by traveler interaction. Whoopsie. <laughs> Personality overwritten. Anomaly involvement detected. <laughs> Solution, quarantine Corvax science unit from convergence. Observe, analyze, silence. Hypothesis, Sentinel Atlas Universal Foci countermeasure in progress. Uh, risk assessment, entropic galactic destruction, rebirth, <laughs> error, Atlas. Error, error, error. They see you. <laughs> Turn to the scientist. The amount of stuff in these is also going to be reduced with the 2.24 patch. At this point, um, these machines are one use only. I don't know if 2.24 is going to uh, fix that or not. Um, Zane uh, did a great video on the upcoming patch. Uh, he already has it because he's in experimental. And uh, pleased that the freighters got their slots, but not how the slots were laid out. They don't seem to be lined up uh, for the best quality, so hopefully they'll change that you know, while it's still an experimental. His uh, famous Freitorius uh, B.I.G. <laughs> uh, has six slots now, and they're separated three and three. So it's not ideal, <laughs> especially since it's an S-Class freighter. This base is big. Wait till you see the one I'm building on normal mode using my brand new learned glitching techniques. Alrighty. Here we go. Have to reinsert the core there. Analyst entity Pocot. <laughs> Pocot shell sits in front of me awaiting reconnection. Trapped inside the data core, I have no way of knowing how the Corvax has taken the encounter at the transmitter. Reinsert core. Shell reconnection in progress. An hour and a half. Ugh. That's a long time. Oh, did you want something from me? <laughs> He's waving at me. Things are going well, friend, but it will not be long before violence follows us here. It's inevitable. If I had some microprocessors, I could steal a march on fate. Yes, I would design a weapons terminal suitable for a Viking armorer. The overseer asks me for microprocessors. In order to design a weapons terminal, the scientist should be able to assist with the task. Smetu has been helpful so far, and I have no reason to distrust them. I shall find them uh, the microprocessors they need. Turn to the overseer. I trust our new Corvax friend was helpful. They are merely the start of our merry band. Are you ready to take the next step? The overseer asks for the microprocessors. 
so that they can finish the plans for the weapons terminal. There you go, buddy. You've done well, uh, done so well, friend. I'm so very happy. There's the weapons terminal. And waiting for him to take me. There we go. Now, imagine this, friend. A life form displeases you, you punish it, reward it, reshape it. In time, it would do anything you wanted. So it is with the sentinels and their attacks, but no more. Now we shall train the trainers. The overseer requires me to kill sentinels and bring back their pugnium. The sentinels have harried me the length of my journey. We shall be free of their constant harassment. <laughs> I don't know if I have to change the log to make that work or not. We'll just see. I have like 700 pugnium on me. There we go. Most of the problems that people have with expanding the base are come down to not being patient. Just gotta wait for the game to catch up to your actions. You have it, friend? Their flesh, their pugnium? The overseer, in something of a state of excitement, asks me for the pugnium I have gathered. There we go. Sumetu presents me with a reward, as I knew they would. Friend, there is no, there is another matter. I gave you the means to create a weapons terminal, did I not? Yet I see no Viking in attendance. Does my help mean so little to you that you would tarry so? You must recruit an armorer before we can proceed. <laughs> the overseer requires me to build a weapons terminal and recruit a Viking armorer. I do enjoy our Viking friends. We shall all live in harmony, I think. <laughs> Oh, thanks for the movement module. Stuff up on wire. Here we go. All right. I think I made this room the right size. Hire an armor. Well, first, we have to build the terminal. It's interesting. There it is. <laughs> Building in third person is not advisable. <laughs> Oops. Wrong thing. No, oh, no. What are you doing now? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now we got it built. <laughs> when we come back tomorrow, we'll hire the armor. And we might as we might get as far as hiring uh, the farmer. Uh, maybe, maybe not, because he has a lot of tasks for us, the scientist. So we'll see. <laughs> I want to thank you all so much for watching. We're expanding the base. We're finally getting to this. Should have done it weeks ago. <laughs> but we'll get that done. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. <laughs> the the Corvax is waving. <laughs>